Spy Family is finally back and with an amazing first episode. If you were wondering if the translation in the English subtitles was accurate, or you want to make sure you didn't miss anything, or you are just curious about the Japanese culture and things that are often lost in the localization, then this video might interest you. Before starting, I just want to mention that translations between languages as different as Japanese and English are often only interpretations, and this includes mine. In this new part, we seem to still stick with the term telepath or Anya. And now, even for the dog. And I think that it's a little bit misleading, since a telepath is supposed to be someone who can communicate to someone else by telepathy, but Anya can only read thoughts, and the dog seems to be able to see the future. The Japanese term used is Cho no Ryukusha, a person with superpower. It's the same term that was used in the first part of the anime, except one time when Anya described herself as an esper, a person with extrasensory perception. This has more to do with the culture, but I still wanted to comment on that in case people weren't really aware of that. But in the first pet shop, when we see the three buff tongues, the middle one is in a famous pose for delinquents. You can often see Yankee sitting like that in a lot of other anime. Now with the great line from Anya when she gives an excuse for Lloyd needing to leave. They did a good job with the translation. In Japanese, this part is Chichi no Kuso, Kuso Nagai, and could be translated to That is super long, or The action to is super long. And you might have realized that Kuso was used twice, and it's because, like in English, the word can also be used in other contexts, other than to talk about feces. It can be used as an adjective to mean a lot. And I guess this part could be translated into something like that shit or shitty long. This is just a bit of trivia about an expression. When Lloyd is in the car heading for HQ, the driver says, Papa to agent to. In Japanese, they use an expression, Nisoku no Waraji, literally two pairs of Waraji. And Waraji is a type of straw sometimes from feudal Japan. The expression is basically saying that you're not really supposed to wear two pairs of shoes or having two different jumps at the same time. This has nothing to do with Japanese. But I didn't spot it the first time that I watched the episode and found it interesting. The jacket of this guy has K9 written on it, a reference to Police Dogs Unit, K9. And also a lot of the characters' names in the terrorist gang starts with a K. When the handler is talking to the guy, まあ、どちらがリーダーだろうと知ったことではない。我々にとっては情報をくれる方が正義だからな。the original line adds a little bit by saying that the one who gives until is more just, probably to try and make the guy thinks that if he gives something, he's gonna get treated better since it would be more just. The gang of terrorists shot at something altogether. And I just wanted to point out that what they are saying is Tetsuyo which is usually part of the saying Tetsuyo Kudasu and can be translated to to deal a crushing blow but it's also literally bring down the iron armor like when you pass judgment on someone I'm pretty sure it's just an error that will be fixed but in the English subtitles of this scene <laughs> In 
it says highly intelligent pigs of the West, but it was talking about the dogs, and there's also no mention of the West. They probably thought that it was talking about the terrorist gang. Another good idea from the translators when Anya says, It's another time that she says a difficult word, not perfectly correct. This time the Japanese term that she said was Keisatsuya-san. Ya is used a lot in the names of a type of shop, and adding the honor fix san is to refer to the staff working in it. But of course, police officers are not part of a shop. The correct term would have been Keisatsukan. Another expression, when Anya is fleeing on the dog and says The last part is Ikken Lakchaku and will be closer to closing a case, like an investigation. That's it for this episode. I hope that you found some of these interesting. If you like that type of videos, you know what to do. And I want to mention that I also made videos like this one for the first part of Spy Family. And I also have other videos on series like Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. See you in the next one.